Thank you. Well, New York State leaders, including Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, Controller and Governor, began their new terms after the November elections being sworn in yesterday. New York's WENY Capital Correspondent Elise Klein recaps the highlights from Sunday's inauguration ceremony and breaks down the issues state leaders pledged to address in their terms. As the new year commences, state leaders begin their four-year terms after officially being sworn in. At the inaugural ceremony, Attorney General Letitia James, Lieutenant Governor Antonio Delgado, and State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli placed their hands on the Bible and pledged their official oath of office after voters re-elected them in November. They each delivered inaugural remarks, pledging to combat New York's social and economic challenges. We cannot allow ignorance, fear, and hatred to damage the enormous amount of work we've done to move our state forward. Delgado says moving forward, he is ready to tackle issues of inequities in his role as lieutenant governor. After taking his oath of office, Thomas DiNapoli, the second longest serving state comptroller, says one of his top priorities as he embarks on his renewed term will be to safeguard retirement security for public employees. Attorney General Letitia James, now starting her second term, says she plans to hold those accountable who abuse their power and tackle the greatest issues impacting New Yorkers. She highlights addressing the lack of access to resources, preserving affordable housing, and addressing systemic disparities in the health care system. While their roles are different, each state leader shares the goal to work together. What we need is a voice, a moral voice, to say that we, all of us, should be united as one in this great country. In Albany, Elise Klein, WENY News.